We have another dead LED bulb. Let's see here. We have this one. Okay, we have power. And, yep, deader than a doornail. Whatever a doornail is. I have to Google that. What, what the heck is a doornail? Yep, this came from my parents' house. I've been using LEDs for, what, 2011, six years? Never have lost a bulb yet, but my parents have lost two bulbs so far. But they don't really use them right. They put them in fixtures that don't dissipate heat very well. And um, this was in a ceiling fan. It has that glass globe around it. It's, it's open at the end. And it's kind of tilted down like this. So the bulb, you know, the heat builds up. And, you know, they just don't last. So let's tear this thing open and see what the problem is. My guess is that it is the driver. The LEDs are probably okay. And we're in. Really had to tear up this thing to get into it. They didn't want you in it, apparently. And there's really nothing in the base. All of the electronics are on this board here. Let's see if I can get a focus on there. So I tested pretty much everything. See, power comes in here through these connectors. Goes through this fusible resistor, full wave bridge. And this is a 510K resistor, which discharges the cap and also prevents the LEDs from glowing lightly from uh, capacitive leakage type loads that I talked about in the other video. Has one of these, which I assume is a current regulator, and it has the usual set of resistors. And those are probably in parallel. 12 LEDs. I went around with a 9 volt battery. There's three die in each package here. Uh, with a 9 volt battery and a 1K resistor, I went around and measured each one, tested each one. And they all lit except this one right here, next to the number. Now the LEDs look to be in good shape. Stressed LEDs, usually you'll start to see dark spots over the LEDs. So I'm thinking that this LED had a bond wire just randomly fail, just open. And, you know, it, no continuity. This, this is a series circuit, of course, with all the LEDs, and everything goes out. So I hooked up this bulb limiter in series with the mains. That just limits current. I have a 4-watt bulb in there. And if you play around with mains voltages, be very careful. It's dangerous. You could get a nice shock. But I'm going to short across that open LED and see if that is the problem or I just didn't get a connection to it. I'm gonna plug this thing in and won't I take a voltage measurement. Okay I have to get the meter in the shot there. Let's measure across our discharge resistor or the bridge. 163 volts. Hey, we're getting voltage in there. So let's see if bypassing that LED that measured open will make this thing turn on. Okay, here goes. Ooh. Yep. That's what it was. That LED right here is open. Try that again. If I can get that on there. Yep. So that is the problem. I'm not really sure if that's heat related. Having a bond wire just randomly pop open. It, it could be. 
So it was fun diagnosing the failure of this LED bulb.